This lesson is all about mastering the planning process for IELTS Writing Task 2. So today you will learn how to make an effective and importantly quick plan for Task 2. So first up, why should we write a plan in our IELTS writing tasks? Well, I think it's really important that we consider the band descriptors and focus on task achievement and coherence and cohesion, which actually make up 50% of your total score for task two. Task achievement refers to answering the question. And coherence and cohesion is all about your organisation. By writing a plan, we can really think about the main ideas for answering the question, which is task achievement. And we can also think about how to organise and paragraph our essay, which is coherence and cohesion. So by writing a really good quick plan, we can improve our scores in task achievement and coherence and cohesion. And furthermore, a plan can help you to relax, which we want, as there's a very high chance that if we are relaxed, we'll create our best possible essay. It's also going to help you structure your main ideas and importantly, paragraphs and it's going to save you time. And I think a lot of students do struggle with time management. Remember, task two is 40 minutes. So by writing a plan, it's going to actually save you time. And the more you practice writing these plans, the easier you will find them to write and the quicker you will find that you are writing them. The very first part of you writing a plan is to identify the question type. So before you begin writing the plan, read the question and identify the question type. Here are the five question types for IELTS writing task two. And here is an example question. What kind of question type do you think this is? Employers should give staff at least 30 days of holiday a year as this helps employees to be productive workers. General statement finished. Do you agree or disagree with this idea? So that's the question sentence in our question. Quite straightforward. It is in fact an agree or disagree opinion question. Let's try another one. Okay, so here are the five question types and the question we have. Nowadays, more and more people are deciding to live alone instead of with family or friends. What are some of the reasons for this? Is it a good thing? Okay, what kind of question type do you think this is? Well, it is in fact a two-part question as you're being asked two different questions. And one more example. Governments are now considering lowering the speed limits in many developed countries. What are some of the advantages and disadvantages of this? So that's very easy. It's an advantages and disadvantages question type. Okay, let's take a look at some example plans. Here is a question. Employers should give staff at least 30 days of holiday a year as this helps employees to be productive workers. Do you agree or disagree with this idea? And here we have the structure, the master structure for each question type. Remember that the master structure tells you what you need to write uh, specifically in each supporting paragraph. They're the, the paragraphs where you will write the main ideas. So this is an agree or disagree question type. 
And our first supporting paragraph will explore our first main ideas. So employers should give at least 30 days of holiday. I actually do agree. And what goes in our second supporting paragraph? Well, quite simply, explore your second main ideas or idea. Let's take a look at the plan. So I agree. I think that employers should give staff 30 days of holiday. Remember for an agree and disagree type question where you give your opinion, stick to your opinion. Don't say, oh, I agree in supporting paragraph one and then change to, I actually disagree in supporting paragraph two. That would be confusing. So in answer to this question, I agree. Employers should give staff 30 days of holiday. And here is my plan. This is exactly how you can write your plans too. SP1, supporting paragraph one. Uh, will make staff happier. So that's one of the main things I'd like to talk about. Many people have families. So by having more holidays, people can spend time with their families. So really supporting paragraph one, main ideas, happier staff and creating uh, happy families. Supporting paragraph two, an incentive, uh, something employees want. So gives a reason for staff to work hard. Uh, so my second supporting paragraph, SP2, I'm going to talk about uh, holidays as an incentive. So for example, you have two weeks holiday at Christmas. You need to work really hard now. That's going to make the big bulk of my writing for supporting paragraph two. And of course, I'll give lots of examples to really explore my ideas. Now, for an agree or disagree type question, I must also give my opinion in the conclusion. And O for opinion, very positive for at least 30 days holiday. It might be that I say, in my opinion, I strongly believe employer, employees should give, uh, employers, sorry, should give staff 30 days of holiday. So that's my first plan. It would probably take me, I think, around two, three minutes to write this, but I know exactly what I will write in each of my supporting paragraphs and what I'll also write for my conclusion. Let's take a look at another example. Nowadays, more and more people are deciding to live alone instead of with family or friends. What are some of the reasons for this? Is it a good thing? This is, of course, an example of a two-part question taken from a previous IELTS exam. And in my first supporting paragraph, answer the first question, which is what are some of the reasons for this? And my second supporting paragraph, answer the second question, is it a good thing? And I've not been asked to give my opinion, it's unlikely you would be for a two-part question. So let's take a look at my plan, which is quite a bit shorter, SP1. So answer the first question, what are the reasons that people are living alone? Here's my plan, supporting paragraph one, more financial freedom. So it may be that people have more money nowadays, or it could also be for job prospects. They might live alone so that they have more time and freedom to move for jobs and employment. So they're my reasons, financial freedom and improving chances of getting jobs by living alone. Uh, the second question, which I answer in SP2, is it a good thing that more people are living alone? I've said yes. Uh, there is no correct answer whether you say yes or no, but I've decided yes because it gives people more space and freedom and it's less chaotic. It's a more relaxing way of life. So there you go, a very, very short plan, but super useful as it 
gives me a great idea of exactly what I need to write in each paragraph. I therefore have to spend less time whilst writing, stopping and thinking what I need to write. And one more example. Governments are now considering lowering the speed limits in many developed countries. What are some of the advantages and disadvantages of this? Just think before I show you the master structure. How would you organize your plan for this question? SP1, SP2. Would you write O for opinion? Have you been asked? Let's take a look at the master structure. So advantages and disadvantages. Paragraph one, discuss the advantages of the statement. And supporting paragraph two, discuss the disadvantages. Did you get that right? Is that what you guessed? Well done if so. And we are not including uh, opinion in this plan. So here we have SP1, advantages for lowering the speed limits. Uh, safer roads, so as people drive slower, they'll be safer, less accidents, as well as less carbon emissions. Uh, I, I think it's true that as people drive a lot faster, they use a lot more fuel, which gives a lot more carbon emissions and pollution. So SP1, the advantages, safer roads, less pollution. SP2 is the disadvantages of the statement in our question. Um, so the disadvantages of lowering the speed limits, people are going to get places slower. Uh, there'll be no need for the bigger cars. What will happen to those companies that make bigger cars? Could it mean people may lose their jobs? So another example of a plan, no opinion, but SP1, SP2. Now I'd like to give you a task. Go to the Q&A feature and create a short plan for the following question given below. I think it's also important that you can read through other students' plans, give them feedback and ask them questions if you want. Okay, here is the question. Some people feel that testing medicines on animals is necessary, while others disagree. Discuss both sides and give your opinion. So go to the Q&A feature and write a, sorry, create a short plan for this IELTS writing task to question. I really look forward to reading that. Well, that brings us to the end of our lesson on planning for IELTS writing task two. I hope that you found this really useful and I look forward to seeing your plans in the Q&A feature.